which were not real? And what if they are just the boundaries that we set in our minds? Good, mo good afternoon, everyone. I am Srivarat Pendela. Today, I am here to talk about the invisible boundaries that are shaping our future. Those are the horizons that we see before us. So, what are horizons? Horizons are often seems like limits. But what happens when we try to redefine those horizons? Pushing beyond what we think is possible. Let's try to explore more about what it exactly means by redefining the horizons for ourselves and for the sake of world around us. During 2021, in the middle of COVID-19 pandemic situations, I was in my 12th standard. Like all the students, I too had many struggles. But one specific experience really tested my psychological boundaries. In our intermediate college, we were given two records, physics and chemistry, each around 400 pages for our external practical examinations. We were supposed to complete those two records within just 15 days during our Pongal holidays. These records require not just writing, but also detailed sketches along with graphs. Rushing to meet the deadline, I spent hours of my time writing those records with my trusty Senior Trio pen, which is having a triangular structure on its body. By the time when I finished those records, I started feeling severe pain in my hand. The pain was so bad that I could no longer hold a pen. My fingers felt raw due to the pressure of the pen, and the shape of the pen got marked on my fingers. As I became terrified that I might not be able to write at all, especially my public examinations were coming in a couple of months. So, have you ever felt like you are reaching your limits? Of course, all of us we do at some point. And at that time, I was convinced that I have been suffering from writer's cramp, a condition which prevents people from writing. I have consulted many doctors, but nothing seemed to help. My examinations were coming closer, and I'm still getting this pain in my hand. And I have unlocked a new fear of losing my ability to write. But then, something unexpected happened. COVID, for many people, COVID-19 is a nightmare. But for me, it is an additional advantage. My exams, got, um, the, the exams that I fear most got canceled due to the pandemic situation. I felt immense relief, and I was the happiest person in the entire world at that moment. But after a couple of days, a couple of months, when I entered into my undergraduation, I started feeling the pain again and again. It was then I realized that something more powerful, that the pain was not just about physical, but it was psychological. My fear of not being able to write was amplifying the problem. Then I made a simple but significant change. I started watching, I started bearing my watch to my right hand. It may be a simple detail, but it shifts my focus. So whenever I found severe pain in my hand, I told myself that the pain is due to the watch, but not due to write a scramp anymore. This simple shift of perspective allows me to keep writing. It was a psychological barrier that I had broken through, teaching me that many of our limits were not real. They were just the boundaries that we set in our minds. So how do we actually redefine these type of limits? It all starts with a simple point called perception. Often we think that limits were external, things that happen to us like circumstances or obstacles that we cannot control. But in reality, the most powerful limits are the ones that exist inside our minds. Take a look of my writer's cramp story. The pain was real, but the psychological barrier that I had created around it, my fear of not being able to write, was the biggest obstacle of my life. Once I changed my perspective, once I stopped thinking as pain is the permanent limitation, I was able to move it out. So, perception is everything. Our minds have an incredible ability to make the boundaries seem more real than they actually are. When we change how we perceive a challenge, we change how we approach it. 
Changing the perception means changing the approach to challenge. Whenever we start seeing obstacles not as dead ends, but as opportunities for our growth, we start breaking down the invisible walls that, that are holding us back. Imagine you are learning a new skill, like playing an instrument or coding, or it may be anything. The initial stages were frustrating, and the progress seemed slow. But if you found this struggle as a sign that you are not meant for this path, then you may quit. You may get rid of it. On the other hand, if you found this entire struggle as an important part for your growth, for your development, then you will achieve whatever you want with that skill by continuously practicing. And eventually, God succeed. Isn't it amazing how our mindset change our experiences? That's when we start breaking down the invisible walls that are holding us back. So how do we put entire this thing into action? The solution is simple, but powerful. We need to cultivate a mindset of expansion. This mindset is about always asking ourselves what else is possible, how it could, how it could be possible, and what are the possibilities awaiting just beyond the boundaries. Actually, redefining the horizons is not just a personal achievement, but it is something that what is possible on a larger scale, like our expansion mindset. In the past, many people thought that certain tasks like decision making or problem solving were only human abilities, far beyond the reach of machines. The general perception was that technology could assist us with basic or repetitive tasks. But whenever the tasks were beyond regular, we will definitely require human expertise. But look at how the things are changing today. The world is now redefining these boundaries by expansion of technology, like our mindset expansion, especially with AI. AI is now redefining the perceptions that we once thought were purely human. Machines are now capable of analyzing emotional tones in conversations, writing music or poetry, and even detecting treating the diseases. So by reflecting to my own experience, I realized that my, my perception of pain and limitations was shaped by my fear, which is a psychological barrier that I had created in my mind. Like in the same manner, the society's perception of technology's limitations has been influenced by a belief that machines cannot do all such type of things. A powerful example of how technology is redefining the world's boundaries is in deep sea exploration with AI-driven AUVs, autonomous underwater vehicles. These vehicles explore previously unreachable parts of the ocean, discovering new species and new ecosystems. Previously, when there is no en enhancement of technology, the humans have to discover these new species by their own. But now, AI is replacing all of them and redefining the boundaries by reaching to the unreachable parts of the ocean. So by questioning these boundaries, whether they may be fear, as in my case, or they may be outdated beliefs about technology, we must realize that both our personal growth and technology improvement lies beyond the boundaries that we impose on our minds. Just like we are using these engineering solutions to make our world a better place to live in, why can't, we, why, why can't we use our inner engineering to break down the invisible walls that are, in our, that are in our minds and make our soul a better place to live with? So what happens when we try to follow this process? The first thing that we get is we were able to unlock new possibilities for the same problem. We stop accepting things as they are and start visualizing how they could be even better. As students and future leaders, we are all having a specific role in redefining the horizons for our future. Your horizon is not fixed. Your horizon is not fixed at any aspect until you found it to be a breakpoint for your problem. It is something that we have the power to move or redefine or reimagine. So I leave you with this thought, what will your new horizons look like? And what are the possibilities awaiting just beyond the boundaries that you have set on yourselves? Let's try to break through those limits 
and push our horizons furthermore than we ever imagined. And I am wishing you a very good luck for